Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Young Lion here. I'm playing the game Foxhole. And today I'm just going to show you some of the work I do as a logistics operator here in Foxhole. This is my truck behind me. This is my inventory in the truck. I've uh, gathered up some supplies here. I'm going to go engineer a defense over in this area. We're playing on Tempest Island. You can see the map down here. If you hit M, it'll pull up your map. You can see Tempest Island. We're on day 190. This is the time for the map. So we're at 2355 right now. This area, you can see we're pushing out from the rush over uh, north of Outwood. And as you can see, the push is going well, but you don't see any defenses in that push, do you? This is common with frontliners. All they know how to do is shoot guns and, and, and drive vehicles. What they don't realize is all that ground they're taking can easily be lost. So you have to actually get a defense up there. Now part of the problem with that as well is there's not much of a fallback defense in this area as well. So once the pushback starts to happen, because uh, wardens are known for grenade spam, howitzer spam, RPG spam, you know, any kind of noob tube explosive aggressive behavior they they capitalize on that in this game emat level war so uh what we want to do is first thing first we want to start from a good position to build into that front line so that way if you know that grenade and how it's or spam starts we'll have a, a good position to fall back on so uh let's go ahead i got the trusty hammer revolver loaded up some spare ammunition you know just just the basic kit that I normally run with here so uh, we're down at the port base as you can see let's go ahead and run our way right on up there and get things started all right first thing I'm gonna do we're here at the iris now this is our location I'm gonna set our spawn out here first I'm gonna see how much shirts are in there all right so we got uh, 71 soldier supplies a little bit of extra beam and stuff in here let's set our spawn here if we die for some reason while building this defense um, you know, I don't want to have to run <laughs> miles away, but I don't go directly to the front line. It's just sometimes, you know, enemies might work their way behind the front line to get to you. And, uh, yeah, dying sucks. So let's, uh, we've got a friendly here in a vehicle. They're probably gathering resources. Oh, he's just AFK, I guess. And you see, this is why you got to properly engineer a defense because look at this. You see how all this clutter nastiness is everywhere? It, it hinders your ability to uh, just maneuver to get around out here. Like, it's, it's just a mess. So, uh, alright, so some of this stuff is going to decay, which is good. Get it out of the way here. We're in the area of the rush, and... You can see this is very dangerous. If wardens just decide to come plowing down this road, I'd get hit and there'd be nothing to defend me. Because as you can see, these guys only care about shooting guns in this area. They're, there's no one building. This warden's already making his way behind the town hall. I'm guessing he's going to run into those defenses and uh, be dealt with. I'm going to just watch for a little bit here and see what happens. Um, if he's not dealt with, then I'm going back behind this defense and begin uh, filling it in to move up the road here. So uh, I'll get back to you once I see what's happening. Okay, so we pretty much got a plan. We're not going to go any further. This area is far too dangerous. Last night I was working in this area. I didn't have any help with the defense. And as you can see now, they're starting to push this direction. So we're going to go behind this current defense. And uh, like this huge mess of nastiness here that's sort of scattered about. We're not going to repair most of this. I mean, we're just going to let a lot of this despawn. Because it's, it's not worth the headache of trying to uh, deal with any of that. But I want to check in these boxes. See what's in there. Before I get to uh, dealing with any defensive structures. Anything that's well engineered. That's you know placed properly. Will receive repair. But the things that are not placed properly. Will, uh, will decay. Let's go ahead and take a look in this truck. And see what's in there. Uh, this is somebody who's logged off and just left the truck behind. I don't know why it's locked, but we're going to unlock this truck. Take a look in the inventory here. Got a mortar tube, some fuel. Probably can just take that fuel out and throw it in a box. Same thing with that mortar tube. Yeah, because the truck's going to uh, suffer decay, and we don't want to lose all of that. But just in case it doesn't fully suffer decay, 
Um, let me just split that. You can split items by uh, you holding control and clicking. That will split the items. Oh, what am I doing? Let me switch this back out. And dump that in there. There you go. So that way, if someone does save that truck, it's got enough fuel in it to uh, get them somewhere. But if they don't, I mean, you'll only lose five fuel. So we got some B mats here in the CV with some uh, fuel in there, which is nice. Very good. Let's take a look in this CV. Very nice. All right, I want to repair these up because they're, they're going to be useful for uh, carrying this defense forward. I want to make sure we have CV action. I'll repair these up and get back to you. All right, so now that those defenses are repaired, I'm going to keep these mats that they had in them because, I mean, why, uh, why waste mats? Let's drop them on the ground first so when we pick them back up, they stack properly in the one stack. You can drop items on the ground by holding Alt and clicking on them, and it'll it'll drop on the ground. So to split items, hold Control and click, and uh, to drop items, Alt and click. Left click. All right, so... I repaired the boxes to make sure that they don't despawn. I'm not worried about the walls at all. I, I mean, there's so much wall spam in this game. I just don't, uh, I don't bother with walls. Especially those are Armat level wall. Okay. Now, see, some of these uh, upgraded foxholes on the roadside here are actually placed really well. So we want to, we want to do something to preserve those. Um, first thing first, I'm going to go check this motorbike before it explodes because it's looking pretty rough. Let me just hit it once or twice. And that sounds like action up ahead. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, they're already coming down on us. And that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want that to happen. Let us pull out the trusty wrench. I want to get whatever fuels in here out. I repaired it just a couple of times just to keep it from blowing up in my face while I'm here. As you can see, this guy's head is engulfed in flame. And it's just got a little fuel in there. I'll take that out because it's going to blow up. No, no sense in wasting that material. I'll dump it into a chest somewhere around here. Same thing with this one over here. I'll check this one and uh, maybe these chests. I'm not going to repair that one because it's in the road. It's just, you know, you don't want to repair anything that's in a road. It'll just last longer and continue hindering the, uh, the logistics support here. But everything else that's properly engineered, I'll give it some repair and begin building new defenses in the area. Always want to engineer a proper defense. Okay, so these are just uh, some basic storage stuff in here, I guess. Dump that in there. Take that back. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's repair these boxes up while we're here. Okay. So let's go get some uh, material. I'm gonna run across this road here. Don't want to get struck. And first thing first, I'll deal with that tower. I'll definitely want to repair that and maybe the howitzer. So let's get some uh, some B mat here and a little bit of R mat. How he's now repaired up. I'll minimize the chat because it's just in the way. Uh, I don't mind seeing some of the stuff that's on there, but then you'll have like wardens in there communicating openly, and it's like, come on, guy. Like, I wish you could filter more out of the chat. All right. Um, looks like they're keeping them at bay. I'm wondering how soon before they come charging down this road. All right, looks like they're still exploring our defense in that area to see how weak it is. So before they make their way down here, let's go ahead and start getting some uh, proper defenses up on the other side of this wall. This bag right here can be repaired. I mean, this uh, foxhole, not bag. 
I'm going to let that despawn. I'm not even going to repair that because it's too far in the road. There's no point in repairing anything in the road. All right, so these uh, have some nice repair. This one offers plenty of cover. I kind of like that one there, so I'm going to repair this one as well. All right, it's looking pretty good. Must have been built recently. I don't think there's any sort of a... I don't know if this has a... Oh, it does. So it may be getting protected by the garrison supplies of that camp. Oh, no, it's not because this one's badly damaged. So let's go ahead and repair this. I might even repair that Howie on the back end there as well. Alrighty, so some of this was uh, recently built, I see. Alright, fortifying around the back end. Let's uh, take a look at these trucks and see what we got here. A little bit of fuel. It seems to be in this one. Let's go ahead and dismantle the lock here and take a quick peek. A little bit of fuel. Okay. Yeah, that's common on the front line. You'll normally see a bunch of trucks lying around all around the place. Careful, careful. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get us a... Whoa. Alright, so when we're putting down our foxhole, one of the things I like to do is monitor... What the f... I like to monitor what side the flag is on. The flag is always in between the side with the boxes on it, so I like to make the flag toward the safe point. And since this is the safe area in this direction, that's where the flag is going to go. Let me take a look at the map and see how close, because I hear a lot of explosions kind of close. He must be trying to blow up that defensive structure there. So uh, let's go ahead and hurry up and get this in the way. Alrighty. So we got a new defensive structure here, and I'm going to just carry it right up the roadside here. Yeah, just carry it right up the roadside. Take a look at my inventory, see what I got on mats. Okay, not bad. Um, I'm not loving this barbed wire here, so I'm going to have to remove that. It's going to be in the way. Now I'm thinking about a foxy right over here in this area. Let me take a quick peek at the map again, map again and let's get a foxy loaded up. All right. So this is the safe area where we're coming from here. I'll slap it down about here. This looks good. And I'll upgrade this one. You want to upgrade as many as you can because, um, I mean, a guy can just come here with a basic rifle and shoot down a foxhole. Foxholes weren't made to really be your pushing element. They're just to, to slow the enemy down and they can kill the enemy. But I mean, they, they their AI can easily be worked around and I don't mind it. I think it's a good balance where it is now. But upgrading it stops an enemy from just, you know, going prone and shooting it down with an with an assault rifle or whatever. They'll actually have to uh, use proper tactics to get it down. Some HEs and um, maybe even house or a mortar or something, you know, so it'll force the big guns out of them. All right, so after it's built, hit E and then you can begin upgrading it using a refined material slash R mat. All right, now I'm gonna go back to my truck, get some more materials, and then I'll begin building my way right up this road to try and reach this uh, defensive structure here, whatever that is. And uh, if the wall doesn't intrude too much on the right side of the road, I'll apply defenses there as well. I'll get back to you once that's done. Or and if anything interesting happens, I'll be recording it. But you know, just to keep things a little, uh, keep things moving along. I don't want the video to be too long. So I'll get back to you once I've uh, got the defenses in.
Oh dear. We're getting a little closer, so I gotta work fast. Oh sh. Yep, so I figured that would happen. Okay. So drop this in there. Submit. And yep, we gotta run right back up there. I'll leave this hammer behind. Okay. Where were we? Oh boy. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. We're going to have to abandon everything that's in there. Oh no. That sucks so bad. Oh no, I didn't get all my stuff. Oh boy. Okay. So we're in a lot of trouble now. Yeah. We're in a lot of trouble now. I don't know how well they're going to be able to come down this hill here, but it looks like they may have suffered some. I need help building out there, man. Somebody's got to defend me. Those guys just brought a half track down the road. It's damaged. Okay, I can get my stuff back now. And I think they backed away. Oh, crap. All right, so maybe they have not. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. So did they die? All right, so they got, all right, sweet. Let me get my shit back. Dead bullet. All right, all watch right. out for them. Yeah, I'm trying to get defenses up over here, and uh, they're effing me up. I need cover. Yeah, I heard you. That's why I went out in the first place. Oh, basic mats. Take them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use as much of those as I can. You can drop them over here on the corner, and then I'll uh, begin building. Well, do you want me to help you, mate? Because I ain't got a normal gun. <laughs> huh? I ain't got a normal gun. I've only got the pistol. Oh, okay. Where are you building? There? Right there. We're going to put this down and then begin upgrading it as soon as possible. Yeah, that guy came and killed me here earlier. I had to run back up here. And when I did, the damn half track came. So I had to abandon some of my stuff. But I, so you see that motorbike to the right? Yeah. Um, I was riding that. I ran out of fuel. And I was like, ah, shit. So I saw this box over here. And then I was like, oh, maybe there's some fuel in it. And then um, I just turned around. And there was a half track. And I just ran whilst carrying like 50 tons of fuel. It didn't roll it very well. Oh crap. Oh. What is that? Oh, it's just a vehicle. He's, he's just shooting at the vehicle. Alright. Oh, it doesn't like the. Maybe that's an enemy one then? Yeah, the enemy jumped on it, so it. Uh, oh, I don't have any refined mats. Alright. Drop some. Yeah, I got you. Oh god, what's that? Yeah, I left my truck behind us, so that way it doesn't get hit in the, in the crossfire. Hmm. I see, it was annoying. I spent about I don't know, an hour reinforcing our little forward base past the rush earlier, and um, it just literally as I finished the last one, I don't have any refined materials up there, so they were all metal. Literally as I finished it, tactical charge just went off at the main gate, and they all just rushed in. All right. So um, let's see. I think I we... can't hear a word you're saying right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a little rough. I want to check this satchel over here. Um. Okay, nothing in there. What's in this bag over here? Ooh, a grenade. Can, that can be useful. Alright, so... Killer? 
Oh, we can do. Ton of storm rock. And a storm rock. Oh fuck. Big on thought. <laughs> yep, he won't stand a chance against this. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right. So I think he. I just like to make sure that this thing stops firing for a second. I want to put up a turret over here. Got it. I think yeah. we should put another foxhole to the right of it because the left one is going to get blocked for shooting because of this. So if we put another yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, right. whoa, whoa, guy. There's a guy up there. He's in the bushes. He's probably going to shoot this in a minute. He's in the bushes straight Which ahead bush? of you. In the no north of you, in the bushes. Yeah, right across the street, I was going to put another one over there, or, or actually, yeah, right across the street will be good. Oh, God. Mortar. Mortar. He's probably, he's lining up. They want to take out the defenses to push in. Yep. He's missing like hell, though. He doesn't have a spot, right? Uh, you got enough to finish this off. It's only like yeah. eight or something. Go, uh, could could oh, you rush oh, up oh, to try oh. to take that guy out? Uh, one set. Uh, I'm give myself some cover. All right. Around that. Yeah, I'm going to go get some more mats. Actually, I'll help you with that. Then I'll go get some. Oh, shit. Nope. Now he's hitting a bit better. I have a feeling they've got something like a vehicle and they just realize that that's a problem. Yeah, well, yeah. I hear shell. Quite a few come in. Yeah, after back. that uh, half track went down, they're uh, going to go back to the mortar spam and grenade spam and everything else they do. All right, let me go get some more R mats. I want to definitely get that upgraded. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes part one of the video. Stay tuned for part two.